Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, this is uh, uh, Track One World, uh, METI Future Academy Project Forward, uh, Education Reform of Japan. And uh, my name is Norisa Wada. I'm from uh, EduLab, based in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, just a little bit about EduLab before we go into a presentation uh, from METI. Uh, EduLab is well known uh, in Japan for a prominent position in the education field, especially in the assessment field. And recently, we've announced a global fund uh, which aimed to uh, uh, gather about 30 million USD uh, for global edtech uh, investments. And today, uh, I am very honored to have uh, a government official. Uh, METI stands for Ministry of Economy, Trade, and in Industry. Uh, Mr. Asano join us to explain about uh, uh, METI's uh, policies around EdTech and share some of the new uh, interesting uh, projects that he's leading. So a little bit about uh, Mr. Asano, may I? Uh, I think you can find his uh, bios uh, in, his, uh, in the app, but a little bit about his bio. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe you guys can find it by yourselves. So yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to take much of his time. So uh, all right. So uh, right. may I hand it over to you, Asano? -san? Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, very nice to meet you. Um, my name is Daisuke Asano. I'm a director for uh, education industry office of Mete Ministry of Economy Training Industry Japan. Um, I actually, yeah, it's, it's my first trip to uh, San Diego. <laughs> this is a very, very good place. And um, <laughs> I need to fly back to Tokyo uh, 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 this evening. It's a very sad story. <laughs> and uh, today, let me introduce uh, in my project. Um, I think many of you uh, wonder why I am here. Uh, me, uh, me, me from, not from uh, education ministry. I'm from uh, commerce ministry. The reason why uh, we, the Commerce Ministry, start up, the, start, up, start up an education project, I think this is, uh, this, I think this may be a first question. That's, that's simply because uh, we need more change makers to create values and solutions in the future society and industry. So why do we need, why do we need change makers? So what, what problem, what, what, what challenges we are faced with is, Japan, what Japan is faced with are, the, the, the challenge number one is aging society with population, population shrinking. So uh, under this condition, we need to enhance um, national productivity more and more. And we need more, uh, that, that's why we need more uh, design thinkers adap adapted to a structured change of society and indust uh, industries. The, there are all the conditions uh, going to drastically change. So that's why we need more change makers. And also uh, the era of the fourth industrial revolution is coming. No, has already come. And the mean, the, so under this condition, the meaning of labor is going to be um, drastically changed. I think um, the existing education systems that are adapted to the uh, modern industrial era uh, from the 19th century is uh, will not work work well, so it's time to change the education systems. And uh, yeah, existing industrial advantage like the Japanese advantage like uh, automobile industries or some of the uh, some of the heavy industries will not last long if no measures taken. So the major the, the most important measures policy measures is education policy reform. We think. So this is, a, uh, this is, a, uh, this is the uh, relationship between the society and the schools and the school and the private education and technologies. The schools, the, the role of the school uh, in the modern era is providing uh, citizens and the workforces, but the uniformed and average and uh, well-disciplined workers to the industries. This was a, this was a, this was a role uh, after the 19th century. The, but the society and the economy industry 
is going to be drastically changed. Um, that, that's why the school needs to change. And uh, the, the relationship between the schools and the private education and technologies is going to be changed. The schools cannot take all the roles uh, which needed, from, uh, uh, which requested from society and the industry today. So that's why the school and the teachers need help uh, from private education and the technology, which means ad tech. But the schools and the teachers are not ready for such a newcomers, private education like crime schools, teachers, and alternative schools, and ad tech. And uh, that in Japan, that most of the school is not equipped uh, ICT infrastructure, uh, which is necessary for uh, which, which is necessary for um, uh, 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 edtech. So METI started up the study group with 100 ex over 100 experts, education experts, including um, uh, teachers and uh, principals, and uh, chief education officer, the superintendents from uh, from from uh, from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from all over the countries. Uh, toward, uh, toward the future of education. And this is a picture uh, <laughs> of a METI study group. This is a kind of workshop. It's a very exceptional case. Uh, generally, uh, as you, uh, usually, uh, we hold uh, uh, the gov government council is like a round table, round table discussion. Uh, th this is, uh, our, our study group is a very exceptional case. We invite over 100 experts uh, from, uh, from uh, 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 including teachers and principals and uh, ed tech experts. And uh, we did, uh, four uh, we, we held a workshop four times, and uh, now uh, we, we, have, we, have, uh, we have concluded a midterm report, and we're going to uh, proceed the discussion to the final report in June. And uh, through the discussion, we discussed what's the sense, what's the crucial sense of change makers? Yeah, in the world, the sense of 50th century revolution, 50th century matter, oh, sorry, American people don't use this as metric systems, but <laughs> we Japanese use a metric system that we, 50th century matter is 50 50th century matter revolution means initial small steps ahead. The, this is the ability of turning your interest into a small uh, initial steps ahead, uh, utilizing integrated knowledge uh, and uh, skills, and motivated by your own will. So, in order to nurture such an, in order to nurture and bring up uh, change makers, we are going to start up a pilot bundle of a pilot project named the METI Future Academy uh, for enhancing learners' productivity. So, okay, uh, let me let me give you an announcement on pilot project here. And this project is a fully government-sponsored project. Uh, about um, uh, $1,500 uh, million dollars per year, uh, practically five-year program. And this will, be, uh, this will start from this May. We have already, we have already appointed uh, Boston Consulting Group, uh, Tokyo, uh, as a partner, uh, as, a, as a project partner. Uh, we entrusted them as uh, the managing functions. And each project uh, will last two to three years on average. And approximately, I think, uh, we, we, uh, the METI and the BCZ is going to take a 20 to 30 project, cutting edge new project, uh, cutting, uh, cutting edge new project. And uh, this project will cover uh, K to 12, not only K to 12, college education and recon education. And, uh, but there's a condition. Um, yes, of course, the, this project is open to global, open to, uh, open, op open to internationally. That's why we welcome uh, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever, uh, whatever, uh, whatever um, attractive projects uh, run, by, uh, run, by, uh, run by company, ed tech companies overseas or international consortium. Uh, Japanese on condition that that the Japanese schools or private private e educational institutions uh, uh, involved uh, involved as a living lab. So um, what uh, let me tell you uh, let me tell you what we are going to do. 
So the, this is a kind of image uh, we want to pursue. I, we think that the ad tech might help building a better cycle of STEAM learning and the subject learning. The, in many cases, uh, pub, uh, the pro, uh, project-based learning uh, tend to be um, just experience, just discussion or chat uh, in Japanese classroom. We want to make we want to make PBL project-based learning to become a, a, really a STEAM, a STEAM education program, and the building the, through the STEAM education program we need to, uh, we, we would like to build agenda shapers agenda shapers ability and agenda solving abilities, and the, through this process the all the uh, that are all the real life topics can be broken down to the uh, basic knowledge and skills, which taught in uh, uh, to, which taught, which were taught in the, uh, the secondary schools period. So, but um, it's very important to uh, it's, uh, th th this is this is my point. Um, with, uh, the, the, firstly, firstly, further your own interest deeply first, and the related knowledge will be integrated in the end. The step number one is dig there deeply, uh, find out your own goals, uh, find your own interests, and enjoy quest learning first. And uh, your interest will be uh, distributed to other related knowledge and subject. And finally, ability of knowledge integrator as a lifelong universal skill will be acquired to all the students. And this is a, this is a metaphor uh, that some Japanese uh, high school teacher says. I love this story. That's why I would, uh, let, me, let me introduce. Uh, they, are trying to, they are trying to break down from real life topics to the, uh, the, the subject written in the textbooks. The, the teacher said, uh, a teacher told the, uh, tell, uh, tell the student to set a real life topic as a uh, goal first. Uh, at the beginning of the class, they set a real life topic. For example, the make, the make the best hamburger business using tasting and sustainable materials. But in, in most of the Japanese classroom, the, the, the teacher, a, a teacher, a teacher, a teacher ordered the student, okay, in the first period, let's bake a tasty, a tasty, a tasty, tasty bread. In the second, the second period, okay, let, let's make a tasty tomato. In the third period, or the cheese, without telling uh, what is the goal, even though uh, that the goal is a hamburger. That's why all the students struggle to learn how to bread, how to bake, how to how to how to how to bake bread, and how to make a, how to make a tomato, um, without knowing. Uh, their goal is making good hamburgers. So that's why uh, th th that we would like to change that kind of learning style. The topic, the set, the, set the goal first. Set the real, uh, real life topic as a, first, uh, as, a, as a goal first. And the topics can be broken down to many subjects uh, of the secondary school level. Like in order to make, in order to make a good hamburger, then the best hamburger, and uh, making, a, ma making a sustainable business model, uh, p students need to utilize the knowledge, uh, knowledge of biology, geography, mathematics, and design, etc. All the all the subject uh, 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 taught in the, taught in the secondary school. So, um, and if you uh, if teacher can uh, if you te if teacher could provide appropriate good materials and expert advice uh, to uh, for, uh, for for learners help. Uh, that the students can uh, read and write English and Japanese. Uh, this will be a good training, a training, a training process uh, of a language as well. So the, we would like to pursue such a practical uh, education process. And uh, at the same time, uh, once, uh, once students understand what the goal is, and all the subject is broken down from the real topic, and then ethic will minimize the time spent for spe uh, subject learning. And the, cut, the, the time uh, cut by ethic can be, can be spent for, uh, for STEAM-based uh, STEAM learning. 
And this is an image of a learning, learning centri uh, centric social system of education. This is quite different from the current status of Japanese education. The current status is school centered, school centered the social system of education. But we would like to restructure the learner centric, learner centric uh, social system of education, which means that um, learners can choose the classrooms, uh, whatever classrooms. Uh, okay, you can go to you can go to school, of a private school, uh, a public school, or private school. But you can uh, you can you you can choose crime schools or alternative schools, and uh, you can you can depend you can you can rely on teachers uh, teachers of schools or you can rely on the teacher uh, teacher uh, teachers of online on, online courses, and you can use uh, you can use you can choose uh, ethic based program. And you can rely on the real life topics. No, no, no. The, the external, external, external collaborators, uh, co uh, external collaborators who can provide real life topics. So um, the, there are many, many, uh, there are many, many difficulties. There are many, many challenges ahead uh, to make such a learner-centric, uh, learner-centric uh, social system. But um, for example, a classroom. Uh, looking at the classroom, Japanese classroom, um, actually, this is not well designed. Uh, the ne we need to measure learning productivity and design the whole picture of a field, uh, field site before procuring uh, respective ICT device and EdTech. And um, um, the, the possibility that the future of the EdTech uh, is not clear at, at this moment. So we are trying to make a uh, pilot project not only as a uh, adaptive learning software, but also the uh, knowledge navigator helping STEAM education, P uh, project based education. And uh, teachers should change, teachers should change. Uh, but uh, there's a big question can they change from lecturer into the facilitator to design learning uh, utilizing ethic based uh, new education programs? This is a big question. And how to and how we should give them opportunity to uh, broaden knowledge and uh, pursue uh, unique experiences. And uh, and also um, uh, we need to motivate uh, external collaborators like uh, companies, industries, and uh, researchers uh, at the university of a research institute or the people living in a local society. Uh, we need to motivate them, external collaborators, to commit it more. What's the trigger to motivate them? And uh, we are going to we are going to do uh, we are going to research and think and research uh, the, all the challenges ahead. And uh, again, uh, I will announce the pilot project. And uh, for example, I will show I will let you know the examples. This is especially uh, th this is a project especially um, effective for uh, childhood, uh, uh, kindergarten, or early stage of uh, elementary school. The teachers need to te teachers need to deeply understand uh, what the, what children are thinking and are feeling, uh, and their talents. Uh, but it, it's very difficult for um, younger children to express uh, their feeling and what they are thinking. So that's why uh, for teacher it's very difficult to understand. In order to easy, uh, in order to make, uh, in, in order to, in, in order to, um, uh, in, in, in order to, for, in, in order for a teacher to understand what uh, what the pupils are thinking and feeling, uh, we'd like to utilize uh, the sensors and the cameras and the microphones, all the devices. And uh, we would we'd like to uh, put the, put these devices into the kindergarten and elementary school and the collect the data and uh, do analysis and uh, the, the data and the analysis the result of the analysis that uh, can be uh, utilized uh, utilized by uh, teachers this 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 kind uh, we'd like to proceed this kind of part of the project and um, the second one is the, to combine steam education and subject learning that are, for example, this is this is this is an example of an agri-tech innovation program uh, pro uh, provided by the uh, rocket company, uh, 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 robot company, and the farmers association, local farmers association, and the supermarket and schools, agri agriculture school, 
and at the company. Uh, the, the consortium of, the, of these company, uh, the, uh, these entities, will give a steam running, pro a steam, a steam, a steam, a steam learning project. And uh, but the, most of the topic can be broken down to the respective uh, related subject. And uh, uh, like I like, like I mentioned, uh, like I mentioned before, once uh, 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 once students uh, understand what to study from the, from the respective subject. Uh, we'd like to uh, design more and more ad adaptive and uh, productive classrooms using EdTech, uh, using uh, UCT, ICT infra. Uh, we'd like to uh, make a personalized classroom and uh, interactive, uh, which, can, uh, which can do a co interactive communication and uh, we'd like to uh, make, use of the, uh, make use of the check quiz and uh, personalize the homework. The, all these process uh, can, uh, can provide all the data, the very meaningful data, and the data uh, will give uh, instruction for uh, teachers, uh, teachers, and the teachers can do PDCA cycle. This is what this is all. This is this is our project. This is the outline of our project. So we will welcome uh, whatever project, whatever cutting any project uh, from all over the world. Thank you very much. Okay, a round of applause for Mr. Asano. And uh, I think you all got the message that uh, it's very uh, special that our government gives us a budget for not only domestic but international ed tech companies to call upon consortia to tackle these global you know, uh, challenges. And this is a great opportunity for all of you to look into apply. And uh, if you have any like two, three questions from uh, the audience, uh, you may. Any? OK, if there is nothing, oh, please. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, for example, yeah, um, uh, transfer, yeah, I think it's necessary. It doesn't, uh, uh, it doesn't need necessarily um, the, the translators. For example, uh, for example, the, the, if you introduce programming software, programming software and a pro programming, pro uh, programming Programming education software, uh, is, uh, which is written in, in English, which can be introduced in the Japanese schools uh, education uh, education process as an English course. Yeah, actually, I should be using a different word for translate. I'm trying to say implementation, so national policy, how does that work? Ah, ah, ah. Okay. May, may I just uh, translate? I know, ma, ko yatte o sanka shite itadaita ato ni, jisai ni, I know, kak, I know, nan to yu desu ka ne, ken to ka shi no gakko no level de. Uh, yes. um, I think there's a big problem. Uh, we'd like to change the way of spending the national budget for a compulsory uh, education. There, there are most of the most of the uh, that a major budget, a major portion of the uh, national budget that is spent for the uh, spent for a salary of teachers. Uh, this is a big discussion uh, whether to pay for uh, whether to pay for teachers or to technologies. This is a big discussion. We need to. We need. We, but th that's why. That's why. In order to overcome such a discussion, serious discussion, we need to uh, demonstrate the, if the, the the effect, the result, and the cost of using edtech, uh, introducing edtech to the classroom. And also, may I add to that? Yeah. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. So, METI will have a, a web page designated for all selected uh, project, pilot projects. And it will be open and available for school districts, teachers to see, so they would know the use case of it. And then, if the ministry uh, funds that, then they can apply for that as well. So, that's the kind of the ecosystem. Yes? Please. Okay, this is going to be the last questions. I'm sorry. Sure. Yeah. Uh, hi. First of all, I, I was wondering, this is, this is a fantastic. I wish really our government or other governments <laughs> uh, did what you are doing. This is 
Yeah, sure. Of course, applicable. Yeah, uh, this is a pilot project mm -hmm. and uh, open to globally. Uh, let me know your project detail. <laughs> yes, that's the intention of the. Yeah, poll. that's the intention of yes. this. Yes. All right. So we're I think over time. So thank you everyone for coming. Thank you and once, upon, once again, uh, thank brother Paul for Asarasa. Thank you.